I'm Sasha Ross Becker, and um, this is my story. So I have a pilocytic astrocytoma, which is a brain tumor. And I feel like brain tumors are exactly the same as brain injuries. Like you get uh, your head slapped in the face, basically. Um, uh, and it's a it's something that happens at a, it's kind of like a, because uh, a brain injury happens like a, it's a snap that you get a brain injury and it's the same with the tumor. Like you, you're told you have a tumor and you're like, what? So um, I had my first surgery in 2007. Um, so right after I graduated from high school and uh, I had, three surgeries and a month of radiation after that. Um, and my first surgery went pretty well. Uh, I didn't really have that many symptoms, like, or, or the symptoms that I had were only lasted for about two weeks. Um, but then my second surgery, uh, it was, it was very, I feel like it was kind of, more like a it was more like a brain injury like the the um, symptoms that I had were um, my I was I was really bad at finding speech I was um, or finding words and my memory just it wasn't there I um, my short-term memory and um, it was it was a tough time like going through and uh, being able to see the words that I wanted to speak out but not being able to say the words like they I, I saw them but I couldn't figure out their their makeup on the speech side um, and then uh, after that I had to because not all of the tumor was removed in the first surgery, so um, there's still about 20% of the tumor left, and they needed to take it out in the long run just to make sure that it wasn't gonna grow back. But its location was another factor because um, it was located in the, uh, right behind my optical nerves and kind of in the cent center of the brain. Um, so I had to go through a month of radiation. And I feel like that also was another factor of a brain injury because um, so many of the cells were killed when that was happening. So like so many memories and other stuff is just no longer there anymore. Um, uh, but uh, there, there is a lot still in there, of course, but it's just, it's a tough, tough trek to go down. Um, so then after the radiation, like I had a little bit of, uh, about a year of um, resting time and uh, or like, yeah, just because after radiation, your cells need to go through something where they, they blow up and then they shrink, they um, shrink afterwards. So that was over and they were like, or they, they were going in to remove that last, because uh, after the second surgery, they didn't really remove the tumor because um, a cyst was forming around the tumor. So they removed the cyst, basically, which was like liquid that was forming around the tumor. And um, so I went in for a third surgery. And the third surgery was another brain injury <laughs> kind of thing. Like, um, th so after the second surgery, I didn't really have much of a uh, movement um, it really was just the cognitive, like word finding and all that kind of stuff. 
But the third surgery gave me another great thing, which was like, I, um, my right side was all weak. And it also, because it was near the optical nerves, I um, lost my right side vision in both eyes. Like, I can only see on this half. Like, I can't see you right now, <laughs> but I can't see you. Um, so, that was another, it was another check. Like I had to go in and also after that surgery, I had to start again on the word finding and all that stuff. That was not affected as much in the third surgery, but it was still there. Um, so now it has been, um, cause that the last surgery was in 2010. So it's almost been 10 years since that surgery. Um, and I'm still, I'm actually still seeing physical, well, physical therapy just ended, but I'm still seeing occupational therapy in order to um, move the hand a little bit more and, and the arm, because that was lost also. Yeah. So that's my story. That's story. <laughs> Definitely still memory, cognitive things. I, I still forget a lot of words and it's, it's like I'm still in writing emails. It always takes me a whole lot longer than it does for other people because I have to think of how to um, conjugate a sentence and all that kind of stuff. So, And I am working in a full-time job now for the first time ever. <laughs> and it does have its ups and downs because the my memory is not that great so I'm taught something and then I forget about it and I do the thing I shouldn't be doing again my the person who my supervisor she's actually a great person cuz she she knows that I have a brain tumor and she is um willing to go to see the problem, but um, it's frustrating being still having to go through that. Graphic design is great because it's like speaking through art, but um, it also has its hardships because I feel like it's graphic design and you have to know so many things. It's kind of, yeah, exactly, tools and um, it's kind of like web design in a way of like you have to know a whole nother language in order to do it in a way, in a way. <laughs> I just hope that we get to a point where we uh, see each other as equals, people with brain injuries or it's injuries or without. Like we need to understand that we're all on the same boat no matter what we've been through like what you just did you don't have brain injury but you just had like a speech <laughs> thing um so we're all so similar and i i really want us to reach or understand that that venue